edition of Every Man is a Millionaire. Today, we're going to talk about the power of clarity. Once again, the power of clarity. The power of clarity will one x your income, money, getting goals. Clarity. How you can use it to become drastically increase your income and how to become wealthy. We'll talk about that. Also, do me a solid. Go below. Get on the text notification list. YouTube does not send all of my subscribers alerts. So if you want to get this fresh content hot, hot off the presses, do that for live streams and videos. And if this is your first time here, welcome. This is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. What we do here is we talk about money, how to make it, how to keep it, how to grow it. Through entrepreneurship, hustling, that's what we talk about. So let's kind of get into it because one of the big, big problems that people seem to have with making money is a lack of clarity. They want to make money that much they're sure of, but how to make money, mm, that kind of is vague, ambiguous. It's not really nailed down. Now, I want you to think about this if you went to your job with this kind of mindset. You don't know what you want to do. You just want to make some money whatever way possible, however way you can. It's not really going to work out because your job, you have a defined occupation. You go to your work, you do this. If you make fries, you make fries. If you do this, you make um, tires. You make BMWs. Wherever you work, you have a clear path. Hopefully, you have a clear path on how to make money with your job. All right. So, how many of you are really clear on what you want to do to make money? Just put that in the comments. How many of you are clear? And uh, the mods be on it because uh, I left a comment on the CNN post and it really angered the GOP trolls. And this, this is something to talk about this too. Not getting political, but clarity is a very important part of being president. Right now, there are Americans who are losing their jobs because of his policies, because he has no clarity. Now, I'm gonna make a prediction. 15, 20 months, we're going to have a very rough recession. And most folks aren't ready. Now, if you're really clear that a recession is coming, you're going to, your, your behavior is going to mirror your thought process. And what I mean by that is um, you have people who are saying one thing, but doing something completely different than what they said they wanted to do. That is called incongruency. If you're incongruent, I want to make a lot of money, but I don't really know how. The money's just not coming. Every now and then, someone will just do something and make a lot of money. That is called an outlier. That's called a unicorn. That's called a typical. That's not the norm. And people be like, well, Johnny, he never went to school. Johnny, you know, he ain't even wasn't that smart. And he just came on YouTube. And, you know, he started putting videos up there. Next thing you know, he got a G-Wagon. But the, but the missing ingredients is Johnny is a 10. Johnny has rock-solid abs. Johnny's very handsome. Johnny is most women's prototype man. But, you know, we ain't going to talk about that. You're going to like look at Johnny in the abstract and think you can do what he can do, even though you don't have his gifts. This is a lot of the stuff you see on the internet. You see many people who are doing this stuff and it's not going to work. So how does one get clear? First of all, one has to be honest with thyself. You have to be very, very honest with yourself. You have to be very clear with yourself. You have to be very, very on point with yourself. Now, part of the deal is there are many people who say that they want to be 
X, Y, and Z because it sounds good. Give you an example. When I started this YouTube thing, there was a lot of people thought YouTube was whack. There was a lot of my friends who thought I was silly. There was a lot of people who didn't think that this YouTube thing would work out to be anything. Now, these same people, they're like, hey, I, I always believed in you, man. I knew you could be a contender. I knew you could be a contender, right? And part of that problem is people forget. People romanticize things. Like the stuff with the GOP and con This has happened before. We had a racist president before. He actually fired uh, federal workers and got rid of them because they were black. So, you know, this, this ain't nothing new, but to a generation of people who've never experienced it, it's very new. And to a group of people who've never experienced clarity, that's very new, that's very hard. Because what I will say is, like, let's talk about disruptive mail for a second. I'm putting some hot content on that. This is going to be very helpful. So you may want to go over there and check that out. Let's say you have a dude. He's an average dude. And he just wants an average girl. But socially, he'll put in the comments, yeah, man, I, you know, I banged a 10. He's going to say that, but he really don't want a 10. He just want a girl that's going to bake biscuits, have sex with on the, you know, on the regular, and just be peaceful and happy. That's what most dudes want. Now you got everybody talking about, yeah, man, she was bad. She was a 10. She was a 10. Here's the problem with that. There aren't that many 10s. Halle Berry's a 10. How many women look like Halle Berry? You know, in her category where wherever she goes, everyone's like, yeah, she's bad. She's bad. You know, if you are a true bona fide 10, you can go anywhere in the world and men are going to behave the same way. If that behavior is not crazy or you ain't a 10. Once again, there ain't that many alpha males. Same thing. You could, you know, a lot of dudes are, uh, I had this conversation with a friend. He was talking about he's an alpha male. And I, I just was like, no, you're not. Because if you're an alpha male, you'd be getting alpha male results. But you're not getting alpha male results. And I just left it alone because I didn't feel like a fight. But many people are pretending to be something that they're not to impress people who don't matter. And that diffuses clarity. That, that really messes up clarity because if you are rock solid in your clarity, you're going to get what you want. But when you're confused, you're going to get what comes your way. And what comes your way may not be good for you. It may not be the best thing for you. This is one of the problems because when I started this YouTube channel, I was very clear on what I wanted. I wanted to write a book. I wanted to sell the book. My goal was 2,000 people at 65. You know, that was the goal. I exceeded it, but I had a goal to begin with. I made many, 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 many mistakes. Many, many mistakes. Many, many mistakes. Green, funky cover. It was so many mistakes, but because I was so clear on the outcome and I was clear on the methodology that I had to deploy to get that outcome. When I first wanted to be a writer, I was in the boarding house and I was doing this thing called Passionate Friday. Didn't really go anywhere because I didn't have discipline. And I, I, I was just, you know, just writing to pretty much get some, some trim. So. The second time I had a little bit more discipline, but I didn't have a really good game plan. Then I stopped writing. Then I got in the storage auction business and I wrote every day, but I wasn't writing for the pleasure of writing. I was writing to make money. I wrote thousands and thousands of ads. So I wasn't writing fiction, I was, but I was writing for eight years. Cause you know, I was like, I didn't write for eight years. Actually I did. I wrote a lot of copy, a lot of posts. So I became, I got in the habit of writing, which is why I was able to finish my first book because I had developed the discipline. I had developed the game. I had developed the acumen, but on the publishing tip, I was still whack. I was still very whack. I made so many mistakes, but because I was really clear on the process, I was really clear on the outcome. I exceeded it. 
You got to be clear about each and every step. Go back to disruptive male. When you approach a woman, many of you are just like, ah, she's pretty. You don't even know what she wants. You need to have a plan already pre prescribed, a contrived plan of if I meet X, Y, and Z woman, this is going to happen. This is the reason you should write your dream girl, pro uh, girl profile because what it does is establishes clarity. And all of a sudden you start like, oh, I didn't want this. I didn't want this kind of chick. I didn't want that kind of chick. I want this kind of chick. And because you become very specific and very focused, all of a sudden, these kind of chicks start popping off in your life. But here's the thing. They were already there. They were always there. But because you wasn't clear, you didn't know what you were looking for. You did not set standards. You just missed out. This is for business. This is for family. This is for everything. If you're like, you go car shopping, most of you are real clear on what you want. I want a red Honda. Uh, I want it at this price. You're like, boom, 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 boom. You put more effort into getting a car than you do getting a mate. You put more effort in getting a car than you do starting a business. And you wonder why it does it go sideways. Because uh, there's this quoted statistic that 90% of businesses fail. I'm going to parse that a little bit. 90% of the businesses that fail are started by people who were not clear. The people who had experience in that field, the people who were clear on the outcome, they had a 90% success rate. Being clear is going to set your income on fire. Now, part of being clear is you're going to have to get rid of a lot of this doing stuff for other people. Uh, with my family. I had to get rid of them for me to be quote, a good son, a good brother, a good family member. I was going to have to lower my ambition. I was going to have to say and do things. I didn't disagree. I didn't agree with. I just thought this is stupid. So I cut them loose, made more money than all of them put together, but they still hating because it took me a really long time to understand this. I got out. When your tribe wants you to be in, regardless if being in is counterproductive, it's unhealthy, they want you in. And the minute that they see that you're trying to climb out of the barrel, that you're trying to run off the flood station, they'll even tell on you. That hey, Glendon, master, Glendon, he, he in the middle of the field, he heading for the fence, master. He had the fence. Master, he, he hopped the fence. Master, he go. You want me to get the dogs? Because, see, he's not happy that I escaped. He's upset because he didn't escape. So he's going to do everything in his power to make sure that I get back on the plantation and be there right next to him. See, people have been programmed to be more proactive in destruction than building. Instead of him like you. You 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 going you gonna try to escape on on Thursday night? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll be the lookout. No, no, mm -mm, uh, uh, no, no, no. He get that information. He gonna go tell Master because he's afraid to come off the plantation because the plantation is all he knows. He don't know anything about this new world. He don't know anything about the graduation and levels of classes. He ain't trying to. You know what's a good example of this? Anyone see? Shawshank Redemption. Remember that Brooks was here? Dude got out of prison, but because he had been institutionalized, and many people have been institutionalized, he did not know how to respond to freedom. He didn't know how to deal with this because he had been institutionalized in a negative dynamic that he could not divorce himself from. And many of you have that similar dynamic for let's say so let's say you live in new york you live in california you live in chicago rent's high but instead of saying okay i'm gonna make a choice here either i'm gonna leave or i'm gonna buckle down and make the money to live how i want to here it's a choice and many people instead of making those choices to leave or stay there they complain and then they legislate and they gang up and it's like hey we need to reduce rent 
Um, ain't happening. Rent ain't going down unless it's a recession. That's the only way rent's going down. So you got to make the choice. You got to be real clear on what you want. If you want a million dollar business, you need to do the math, then figure out how your skill sets can mirror or match up with a product or service to make that money. Most people who start businesses don't do the math. They don't have any clue. They're just like, I feel it in my gut. I feel it. I feel it. Then they go out there and fail, man. I ain't going to start no business again. That That's just, that's some wacky stuff, man. You know, these people who start these businesses, are uh, they getting help from the government? These immigrants, yeah, they getting loans, no interest loans. Me, I was out there by myself. I couldn't make it, you know, uh, it, it's just, it ain't, it ain't right for the average man. It just ain't ready. You know, I have a term for that. It's called loser speak. If you're speaking like that to yourself, you are a loser. And you're going to indoctrinate your children with that loser mindset. Because I don't care how poor you are. I don't care how much you don't have. If you don't change that mindset, you're going to give that to your kids. And you're going to create this generation after generation after generation of low expectation and poverty and low income people. That's going to be your inheritance for your children. Now, there are some good parents out there who know they ignorant and they're like, look, I don't want you to be like me. I'm going to send you over here to be with these people so they can teach you better than I can because I don't have the skills. That's a good parent. That's a great parent. It doesn't take a lot of money to be a great parent. It just takes a lot of common sense. You don't have to be rich, but you can enrich your children by pushing them to do shit you couldn't do. And a lot of people, they, they don't even want their kids to be successful. They don't want their children to be more successful than them. That's the dysfunction that goes in a lot of families that if um, you're doing better than your parents, your parents may hate. Now, if you got good parents, they're going to be like, I am so proud of you. I am, that's my son. That's my daughter. And then you got those hater gators, those hater hate machines. <sighs> you ain't going to be nothing. I, I wish I never had you. You ain't been nothing but misery and pain to me. You got people with parents like that. And these people are in a world of hurt and they're walking in pain. And it makes it very hard for them to be clear because they're trying to deal with, why didn't my mom, why didn't my dad want me? This is why, you know, even with my jacked up situation, I make it very clear that I would have loved to have been her father in case she sees this one day and she's feeling some kind of way. She'll know the truth. But there's a lot of bad parents out there because they don't want their kids to do bad name because they weren't clear. So they pass on this lack of clarity to their children. It's amazing how this goes down. So. Let's get into how to get clear. First, you got to be honest with yourself. Real honest, bluntly honest. Second, you got to start taking massive action as soon as possible. Nothing's going to happen without massive action. You can know you have a problem. You can start working on it. But without massive action, nothing's going to happen. And we're getting close to this recession. 15, 20 months, I think it'll be on us. Um, you need to start preparing like yesterday because during this next recession, those who are prepared are going to get wealthier. This is, I think it's just a cycle that's set up. It's like, we're going to milk it on the high side. We're going to milk it on the low side. But these people are very clear what they want. They're very clear of their objectives. They're very clear on the outcome. They have no problems saying this is what I want. So the third thing you need to do is to write down what you want. Once again, the third thing you need to do is write down what you want because this is a funny thing about writing down your goals. You'll have your goal in your head, right? And you'll put it on paper and it'll look whack. And that's good because if you cannot fully articulate your goal and desires to yourself on paper, then your subconscious mind can't kick in and take over. 
So by writing this all, this is very unclear. And you write it and you rewrite it and you rewrite it and you rewrite it and you rewrite it until it becomes so clear that anyone can understand it. It has to be clear and it has to be simple to you. So that's what you have to do. Be honest with yourself, take massive action and write down your desires and, you know, um, go back and watch the video script scripted days. Because if you get in the habit, and once again, you don't have to be a writer, and you don't, it no one's going to see this but you. Because you get a lot of people, I'm not a writer, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to be Hemingway. You just have to be able to write in an intelligent manner to program your subconscious mind. Because if you write this every day, you start taking massive action, and you're very honest with yourself, you're going to start to see that things that you want to manifest in your life, they're just going to start popping up. They're going to start coming. People are going to start sending you money. People are going to like, you, you're going to be like, man, I need a truck. And you'll be like, hey, um, I know this is strange, but my dad, he's got a truck. He just wants a gun. You know anyone that needs a truck? These things will start to happen to you. Because you've programmed your subconscious mind to reach out and pull them to you. But as long as you like, uh, there's a part of the manosphere that I absolutely hate. These low expectation having people, these whiners, these losers. Th th it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous how bad these folks think life is when life because they're unclear. How they go about life. That's the bad part, but life ain't bad. But whoa, whoa, just wait. Just wait. Because uh I was having this current I was posting stuff on the CNN post, and I didn't even go at them one by one because they were stupid. And I just like I, I see who's gonna be in the first culling based upon these low IQ responses. Because any fool can leave a derogatory comment under a pen name under an avatar. And I saw some really jacked up avatars, so I know that these people. They're not progressive people, and they're just members of the echo chamber. And I'm just laughing because I really don't like Trump, but some of his policies have benefited me like a mofo. If I make the same money I made last year, I'm getting a 14% raise. That is significant. People ain't getting 14% raises. People getting 3, 1.5 to 3%, 3% being very rare. 3% of $1,000 is 300. That ain't, that ain't a lot of money. You might get like a $2,400 raise if you get 3%. You get 1.5%, you get like $1,250, which is eaten up by inflation. It is wild. So once again, be honest with yourself. Take massive action. Write it down. Now, number four is going to be, you're going to have to visit, drive, experience what you want. You will have to visit, drive, and experience what you want. Now, let's say you want to live in California. You need to go ahead and get yourself a plane ticket, go to California on a vacation, two or three days, and do that four or five times and see how it feels before just like, I'm going to move to California. I sold everything. I'm going. Then you get out there and you hate it. <laughs> People do that stuff to Atlanta all the time. They come here. They think the streets pay for gold. Unless you are coming here with a business and some money, it's going to be hard for you player. play it. It's going to be very, very hard. But you, you have people out here who tend to romanticize things. So if you really want this thing to manifest in your life, you need to go visit it. You need to touch it. You need to feel it. You need to taste it because that's walking on faith. It's like, okay, I can't do it now, but I can do it later. A lot of you are too scared to even go, you know, how many of y'all are like this? When I was a kid, I used to go look at stuff and I didn't have any money. I remember I was in Hawaii and I looked at this million dollar property and I just looked, I'm in the military. I just want to look at this house. I can't afford it right now. Maybe the future. And they were like, okay. They were cool with letting me walk around this little black kid from Alabama at Schofield Barracks. And they were very nice to me because I was honest. 
So you could just go ahead and like, hey, I want to look at this house. Um, you go to the Ferrari dealership. Look, here's the deal. I don't have the money. I want to get a Ferrari at some point in the future, and I just want to drive it. More than likely, they're going to let you drive it. They're going to let you drive it. More than likely. They ne- because good salespeople never know. They never know when that person's going to hit big and come back and remember. And see, when when you're down, you remember all the people that were nice to you because there ain't that many. That becomes very clear. There's a lot of clarity with that. I can count on one hand the people who came to visit me in that um, boarding house. We're still friends to this day. One hand. So everybody wants people to be nice and down for them, but they've never been nice and down for anybody. It's just funny. Once again, it's clarity. So one of the things that you have to do, and this is the fifth thing, you need to meditate on what you want. Be honest, massive action, write it down, visit it, drive it, taste it, and number five, meditate on it. Now, here's the, the bad news. It probably ain't going to happen quick. Sometimes it can happen quick, but I, I'm not even going to set you up for the okie doke. Uh, it may be a year or two. But what you're doing is reprogramming your mind not to be negative. You're reprogramming your mind for success. Because once you become very clear on some stuff and like someone can wake you up in the middle of the night, like, hey, what are you doing? Well, I'm creating an online platform to teach millions of people how to become successful. Because, see, that's the sixth thing. You got to break it down to where it's one sentence. What are you doing? Break it down to one sentence. Clarity. Maybe a paragraph, you know, if it's complex. But it needs to be something that you can spit out in like 10 seconds. And that, that is one of the issues here because a lot of you are just not clear because a lot of you are consuming hustler porn. A lot of you are addicted to hustler porn. I was going on Instagram and I saw Ray J and his wife. I didn't even know he was married. And he's on this plane, right? He and his family and his daughter. I'm just sitting there like, dang, that, that just don't seem right. You know how much it is to charter a plane? If, you get tur- a prop. Those are the ones with propellers. It's like $4,000 an hour just for one of those. You know, like um, Taylor Swift, she's taking a private jet here and there. It's 40, you know, with her entourage, it could be like $150,000, but she's going to go to this venue and make three, four, five, six million. So that's easily absorbed. But just to get on a private plane, just to go to California because you flexing. That's one of the fastest ways to go broke, if even if you do have a lot of money. I was coming back, and I saw Jermaine Dupree up in first class. He was uh, four or five seats ahead of me. I didn't even recognize him at first. And then the stewardess, she had to take back his Louis Vuitton case and stuff. And um, you know Jermaine has made a lot of money. He's flying first class. These chartered flights, I see a lot of people flexing like that. And oh, if you if you in a Learjet, and this is the one without the props, and this is one of the bigger ones with the long range, a Learjet can be nine to fifteen, nine to thirteen thousand dollars per operating hour. So if you leave here and go to Europe, and that's ten hours, that's, that's hundred G's right there, hundred G's. Uh, the people who have these planes, they have them for a reason, because every time that plane is in the air, it's costing a lot of money but they're making a lot of money because, you know, I know Grant Cardone's got a plane, but unless I get to the point where I'm speaking and doing all this stuff, it makes no sense for me to go to get a plane. None. Even if I had 50 million, it still wouldn't make any sense for me to get a plane. If I had a hundred million, still wouldn't make sense. Still would not make sense. You know, if I was to get a plane cause I like flying and I got my pilot's license. Okay. That's different. But just to be flexing, I'm seeing some silly, silly, silly stuff on the internets. So this is it. Um, That's what you need to be clear. And take those six steps. Watch this video 10 times. Because each time you watch it, you're going to get something even more from this video or this live stream. All right. So for those of you who are still here, go below. 
and enroll in game 105 in the art of holding. This is going to teach you how to secure and protect your person as a male. And it's going to give you some manhood lessons. Now, let's be clear, because someone sent me something silly, like $99 for both courses. Mm -mm. Be real clear with y'all. See, clear, clarity, clarity. It's 99 bucks for 20 months because you're going to get two collection of courses and not just one course. And you're going to get a lot of game stuff you're not getting anywhere else. So just so you know, before you click that button, it's going to be two platforms. It's going to be a lot of content. It's going to be a lot of things to help you protect yourself against this unfair system because I'm living witness. You know, um, I even deleted the comment cause she was going in cause you know, Let's, you know, I, I touched on this in the beginning, but there's a lot of people who feel that you as a man, regardless of what a woman does, you need to do the correct thing, even if she's doing the incorrect thing. I don't believe in that. I believe in holding these women accountable, which means bad things are going to happen because until more bad things happen, a lot of these women are just going to keep acting the fool because the expectation is for you to be the steady, stable man doing the right thing while they're doing the wrong thing. I, I guarantee you, she thought that I was going to lay down and let her collect child support and not see my kid and not be a God and fi a figure and not be a father and just send her a check. Oops. Because, see, I was real clear when I, before I even stepped in that courtroom. It's like, I ain't paying. I was 100% clear. And this is a good lesson for you because when you get really clear on the outcome that you want. Um, even if you don't know how you're going to achieve that outcome, your chances for success are about 95% if you stick it out. I didn't know how I was going to get that thing dismissed. I just knew that I was. Put it in my head. I got real clear on the outcome. I learned the game. So, Go below, enroll, because this is going to be some that you can use for the rest of your life. Because there are a lot of people, and these are the short-term people, these are the, the hustler porn addicts. They want to spend 99 bucks and make $200,000. If you really know about business, you know, if I had a course that you can make 200 grand a year, the course would be legitimately be worth 20 to 40 grand, maybe 50, legitimately. So think about that. But over time, there's two G's you spend. Essentially, what you put up as a retainer for an attorney that will not get you what you want. <laughs> you could be set, and especially for you young cats who are not in these situations. Uh, one of the things you have to do is be proactive because many of you are trying to, you're closing the barn door after the horse has been gone for an hour. Like they ain't gonna really do any good. So that's it. All right, so go ahead, go below, get Game 105, The Art of Holding. Uh, next week, I'm going to be adding people because you'll sign up through the Game uh, Game 105, so you'll have all that stuff open to you. And then next week, I'm going to add people to The Art of Holding. All right, so y'all have a good evening. Watch a little football, relax, chill out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's going on? This is a little different, but I thought I would explain to you guys what the new situation is. It's digital education, how to make money online. I'm finally getting around to teaching the things that I do or currently doing. And this is going to be Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills isn't going anywhere. I'm going to go through what's happening with that tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is this is going to be my main focus the rest of the year in 2020. What this is, because, you know, there, there's so many people who talk about how to make money online and you'll have an FBA course or you'll have a how to run ads course. But there is no comprehensive curriculum that's going to answer all of your questions. I'm in a ClickFunnels group and I just look at all the questions that people are asking and just they just don't have the comprehensive online education. So what I'm putting together 
and this is from learning from this. This is B school for hustlers. Um, funny thing is, I, I created this about three years ago, and I created a Stripe account for it, and the Stripe account was still open. So apparently, they don't have a problem with B school for hustlers. So in, in any case, we could get around that. But let me take you through the whole process. Now, this will include an updated version of the art of holding. And I'm going to get into that. So you got two ways to get in here. 1600, one and done. And 18 times 125 per month. So you got two ways to get in here. And this pricing is just going to be available while I'm beginning. Because once I build out a course and the course is done, then I'm going to raise the price of this. Because this is the there's not much there pricing with more to come. So one of the things that, you know, we're going to do. And let's see. Um really don't want to be there let's do this let's go to b school for hustlers you like that you like that you're the lion the zebra is the money go get that money that's the world we live in all right here it is so what we're going to talk about is this is going to include nine courses once again the courses are not done as these courses come online like how to market and sell on youtube that will be a course and you know it's not 100 percent ready and how to make more money from broke dick danny to pay percy that's going to be a course the strategic holding company, how to set up and deploy. There's going to be a ton of information from the art of holding plus additional information going forward. The Google ads course, how to run successful and profitable ads, how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit. The hustlers mindset course, how to change your thinking for abundance. I'm going to go deep there. How to make money with content, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. The money management course, how to prep your financial love for happiness and joy. And the money game, how to play and win. So what you're going to be doing is getting, because I don't really know how long it's going to take me to build out all these courses. And, you know. Need to get rid of that because um, because I'm already got I'm adding stuff here and I need to go ahead and change that because I will have people trying to get into this but i'm going to teach you everything you need to know to set up a rugged durable online business because one of the things is like with these other courses and they're good courses they're not bad but the thing is, you're not getting the full deal. You're not getting a comprehensive, uh-huh. So we're going to do this for, because I'm going to add more to this. $2.99. Let's get rid of that free. But... Essentially, this is going to be everything you need to start a successful online business or a collection of online businesses. 
because the Google Ads course, because, you know, I don't know how to do Facebook ads, but I know how to do Google ads. So I'm going to do a course on that. I know how to sell and create online courses. I'm going to do a course on that. I got the money management thing. I know how to market and sell on YouTube. Do a course on that. How to make money with content. I'm going to lay out some stuff that, you know, many people don't understand. And this is just going to be fun. I could build this out in maybe three months. I could build it out in six months. I'm giving myself six months to build this out. So you will have these courses. They will be done. They'll be available. You will be able to use this information to make money. Pretty much if you're on a payment plan before you pay for this. I want you to think about that because it's going to be like an online school, you know, and I'm thinking about adding some more stuff to it. And I will say this, that if I add any more stuff to it before 2020, that also will be included in the pricing that I put out because there's some stuff I'm mulling over because, you know, I'm thinking this is pretty much it. Um, this is the things that I do. These are the things I know how to do. These are the things I make money with. And if I add anything else, that will be part of this deal. And once again, the pricing is there's not much there. The money management, how to prep your financial life and happiness and joy. That's going to be done very quickly. And that's going to be your first course. And what's going to be different about this than um, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills is you're going to do the money management course first. You're going to do the Hustlers Mindset course second. Then you're going to do how to make more money from Broke Dick Danny to pay Percy third. And then we're going to get into the strategic holding company. There will be a certain sequence that you will take these courses in where they make sense. Because let's take the money management course. What's the use in you making money if you're just going to blow it big willy style? If you're just going to not properly do what you need to do? You, you, it's just, you know, you're going to create more problems for yourself. You go out and you start making more money and you have bad money management habits. You're going to like maybe develop a drug dependency problem. Um, like the video I put on Disruptive Mail, you may be going out buying hookers and blow and think that's a good idea where to put the money versus putting the money into long term asset building processes. So that's going to be the first course. Everyone's going to take that and you, you get all of this. And I will <clears throat> go ahead and stress as I build these out, I'm going to change the price of the offer. Right. This pricing is, you know, because I'm pretty much going to do the hustlers mindset course after the money management course. Then we're going to get how to make more money from broke dick Danny to pay Percy. Uh, I'm pretty much going to go through those really quickly. I might get those done before the end of the year. And then uh, the strategic holding company. I've got probably 75% of the content already, so that's going to go very fast. So there will be a lot here for you to do, learn, and process and begin doing very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is for you folks who are going to take advantage of the payment plan, I made the payment plan very affordable. Um. You're going to get all of this stuff before you finish paying. So fortunately, when I do payment plans, I have a very good, you know, high completion rate. And most people are honorable. So I'm going to trust you guys to be honorable. And also something else that's going to happen. Now, this isn't the T-shirt. That isn't the t-shirt. <clears throat> I'm going to craft a designer and we're going to come up with a digital citizen t-shirt. And that's also included in the course. It may be a long sleeve. I may do a long sleeve. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. But 
I feel that this is a welded rounded curriculum for you to make money online because I know a lot of you don't want to do YouTube, but I'm telling you the power of YouTube is sick. I mean, you know, let's just keep it honest. Like, uh, my main channel, it ain't really doing the YouTube thing, but just on the AdSense, you know, level, I do 1500 to 3000 a month and my channel really ain't bumping the way that, you know, cause, uh, this is the reason I'm starting new channels because I started one new channel. I'm going to start some more because the algorithm is favoring new channels like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, like disruptive mail, disruptive mail makes consistent money. And I'm, I'm taking some of the new training that I had and I'm applying it to disruptive mail and I'm starting to see results. So and how to make money with content. <clears throat> We're going to discuss how to create the right type of content because you got to have the right stuff. So <clears throat> this is the new deal. And this is a combination because I woke up this morning really early and I started working on this. And all this happened today. I built this out today. I strategized it. I've been really, really thinking about it in my mind. I've been thinking about it. And now that, you know, it's fully out of my head, I felt very productive. I felt very energized. I felt really, really good that this thing is done. So this is what's going to drop. This is what's going to happen. And the link it will be below because you will be taking the money management course. There's already content there. There's training already there. And I'll get that finished before you can go through the whole course. And we will get this. So this is what it is. And if you want to start an online business, you know, like I said, there's a few other courses I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't committed to them. So they're not there. But if I do add these courses before the end, you know, because it, it will be before the end 2020. I will include that in this offer, the t-shirt, we will be having webinars. There, there's a lot of stuff because like I'm, I'm going back to how I used to do it. So we're going to have webinars where you could come in and ask questions. It will not be live streams on YouTube. And we will be able to chop this up. So I, I, like I said, I feel very, very productive. I feel that this is going to be amazing for you because you know the google ads course i mean if you're going to create any kind of website you got to learn how to run ads yes you can get organic traffic but it is super slow and you know getting organic organic traffic can take years and hands down because you you will you will actually start you know seeing me run ads and stuff because i've got a budget I'm gonna start running ads and I'm gonna do a course after I get to running this so and you know how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit that's gonna be a winning class so there's a ton of value here for you if you want to start an online business and for those folks who don't want the whole thing as each course gets built out, then that will be made available to you. And it ain't going to be cheap. Um, like your best bang is to get on the payment plan or to get the $1,600 deal now. That's your best deal. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you guys later. If you want to be part of this experience, this monumental educational experience, the link is below. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later.